Okay, hello musicians and composers. Uh, I'm doing a quick review today of this uh, fader thing. Four faders with three banks of different uh, controls. You can control uh, with MIDI CC over USB. I bought it on AliExpress. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to which seller. It was like a hundred dollar Canadian which is really cheap compared to the other options I found on the internet like it somewhere 300 US or something and probably the quality is better but I just wanted to share my point of view of, of this one because um, there was not no reviews basically of it and like to find how it works is a little bit dodgy like the info is not really there so i thought i would share my process of finding how it works and my yeah so it's really it's really great a really great piece of gear i think the faders are really smooth like kind of close to each other's but yeah i'll unplug it they're kind of close to each other but like for controlling let's say um, spitfire or something anything like i use those because like they're a bit uh more spaced out so with those it's really good um build quality is great it's in plastic but it's yeah it's sturdy and it looks great i think it's really a nice piece of gear and yeah, so there's no software. Well, there's a software that comes with it, but I had to um, write to the seller and he sent me like a Chinese uh, zip file or dot .rr file, whatever. And I unzipped it and it was all in uh, Chinese. And there are um, two videos that explain how it works. So I can try to show you so you don't have to do like the process of uh, finding and yeah uh, and I actually translated the app it's like a web-based app so it comes with in a folder and then you it's a HTML file you open it in your browser and then you can change which MIDI channel you're uh, controlling and MIDI CC uh, yeah so the i translated it so i'll upload it somewhere and you can find it in the link and i there's a there was a background file that was gray and i didn't find it beautiful so i changed the color of it uh, so it matches the beautiful case and colors yeah so this is the file that this the seller sent me uh, and this is the app what it looks like it says like do you want uh, google chrome to control midi in your computer you have to authorize it and then you choose your whichever like this is all my midi appliances and you have to choose the em midi yeah so it's all in chinese so but i translated it and it's not the greatest thing but it's in english and yeah, it corresponds like the color. I find it more beautiful. So you have to go in the choose your your MIDI device. So this device is called EM MIDI. And so once it's selected, uh, you'll be good to imp uh, upload the new direction into the device here is just a for reference a document that lists all of the midi cc controls and what they do so it's just useful to have it there i translated it real quick with chat gpt so i'm not sure if it translated well but it, i scrubbed through it and it looked pretty good so yeah i it that way so you have different presets um i think they get saved in the file when you save preset so like that's the default so so you have three banks by default and those control the banks so first to the left it controls midi cc 102 
on channel one. So one no three, one on four, one on five. Change to the you have three positions. The middle position controls uh one oh six to one oh nine and the right position one ten to one thirteen. So that's the default, all of uh which are on channel one. So when you want to change it, yeah, you can do a custom preset. Oops, it just said that the custom is empty. So let's say one. So I set it to channel one, uh, CC channel 11. And the third, like usually uh, on the Spitfire audio, it's uh, you control uh, MIDI CC 11 and one, which is the mod wheel, the one. So that's how I set it. Like the one is there and the 11 is there. So like my fingers are a little further apart than if I was using those. So yeah, and to upload it into the thingy, you have to put the faders, like the left one and the right one to 127. This is the MIDI uh, CC. Uh, uh, value you have and the two middle ones you have to put them right above not above but down there and yeah so once you're ready to upload upload you click apply configuration and it will tell you is the control set set to 127 0, 0, 127 so yeah and then are you ready to apply you click ok and then it will upload it so the seller sent me two videos. Uh, one explains what I just explained about how to use the software to change the MIDI CCs. And the other one um, tells you that there are three different modes you can use it with. There's one mode that is the CC mode, which is what I explained. The other one is mic control mixer mode. Not sure what it is. <laughs> so the third mode is HUI, which is a Pro Tool Control Protocol. Uh, it stands for Human User Interface. Uh, I'm not sure what it does. Mm, probably just controls faders on Pro Tools. Uh, I would have to try it out, but I didn't yet. And I don't use it. I don't need it so so to change the mode you have to uh, change the switch before you plug it so if you want to be in CC mode first mode uh, that I showed you you put it to the far left look plug it and then you're in CC mode and then it shows you the values if you want to be in mixer mode you put it in the middle and then you're in mixer mode and third mode is HUI Pro Tool to the right you toggle the switch and then plug it Pro Tools HUI yeah okay so I hope this video was uh, helpful and useful um, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer it the best way I can and yeah enjoy <laughs> <laughs>